I'm Alex, and I go to UCSD studying computer science. And by night, I am a choreographer slash dancer. But then, now that UCSD started, now I'm ten times more stressed. So, so dancing helps me alleviate that anger. And so I picked up sea walking because he was all of, all about lower body and stamina. <laughs> That's pretty much all I had in high school. And so I wanted to integrate upper body, right? First I started out with Tutty, and so that was fun. And then I started researching dance, like ballroom dance and modern dance and all that stuff. I'd give myself a week until I can think of 80% of the dance. I listened to the song 200 times over and over again because I need to nail down every single little detail about that song. There's like a trumpet that goes like for like half a second. I'm gonna incorporate that into a tiny little move. Like, <laughs> like so, I don't know, something like that. If you hit every single beat of that song, it just looks so cool, so fun. And so it's really fun to watch. I practice here. I just use this room because it has a lot of space and since I don't have a giant mirror on hand with me, sorry, I use a, um, a big glass door <laughs> and I can't see, it pretty much just portrays my outline, which I'm fine with. All I need is the outline to dance. I plan on doing dance for as long as I can still walk. If I can't walk anymore, then I'm not dancing anymore. Don't plan on stopping anytime soon, and I'm gonna think of way more choreos for way more age ranges too. If I can, if I can get my grandma to dance, that'd be amazing. <laughs> dancing, you're just expressing yourself, and that's why people dance. They want to express themselves. Other, other than that, then there's not really much else to it. When I got to college, that's when I started teaching dance. So these group of kids go to the Lock Hong Vietnamese school, and I go there every weekend to teach them choreography as their side project, I guess, like that. And we put on shows and performances like that around our local areas. So, these are my kids. Bubble milk tea. Took forever to train them. We spent hours and hours, probably like two hours every Saturday for the past half year just to get one dance down, but it worked. We were gonna perform on a Saturday uh, just as a performance to show people like, oh hey, we're still here because we did it last year. But then there was a dance competition that we didn't go to. So I entered my group in. And their name is Boba Milk Tea. So please welcome to the stage. They floored it. <laughs> they killed it, and there was like six other groups, and they were really good. But then, I guess. Please, we have. Martha! Martha! My group got the crowd favorite, and so we got first place.